first was traveling, I, I had a connotation with travel. I wasn't so thrilled with always being on the road. But then that began to be used more and more as I gave it over to the Spirit. And then I, it turned into an adventure. So what was before boring or mundane? Are we there yet? And when are we going to get there? That was the childhood experience turned into this huge, glorious, miraculous adventure that was being used constantly by the Spirit, because of my purpose. And uh, so I wasn't out really to, for sightseeing, and I wasn't out to see the world, I was out there to experience the calling of my heart, and to be shown another world, and a whole different per perception of the world. And that unified field is, you know, it's come about through a devotion to let everything be used for one thing. And, and the field is, is worthy of that devotion, you know, get pointing your mind in that direction and teaching what you would learn, practicing the presence, do immersing over and over and over. Uh, you know, even watching a documentary of Mother Teresa and seeing the love that she put into you know, filling a pitcher of water and then going and pouring that water um, for each of the beloveds that she would go around to in her in her little charity house, and and you could feel the care and the love that was being put into the pouring of the water. You know, it 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 was a meditation watching that um, documentary. It wasn't rushed. There, it wasn't for anything in the world. There wasn't. She wasn't trying to achieve something or accomplished something, it was her heart pouring out, really, along with the water, and, and it was very felt. So, the key is to just apply that to everything, to, to not segment and fragment and partition the mind or your life on earth into parts, and then to keep judging, oh, I like those parts better than these parts, and I can't wait to get done with this part so I can get to that part, you know. It's, it makes life a drag, it makes life heavy when we're perceiving from that egoic lens of being separate, of a separate individual. And I know you love the jam sessions, some of the best times you had is when you just get a group of musicians together and, and are just there together and see what happens. And that that's again very spontaneous, it's not like going into a studio to record a song and lay down tracks, you know, that even that can get into a, a bit of a profession or a bit of a organization and structure that can get heavy at times and you start to feel responsible for completing a song or completing it by a certain time and the spirit is so playful, it, you know, it's, it's like a flower, you have these beautiful flowers that just mm -hmm. offer their shiny colors and their brightness and their sometimes fragrances freely without any concern for any what will come of it it's just there in the moment and they're stationary too these flowers you know they're good symbols of contentment trees flowers you know just there shining sharing nowhere to go no place to be just fully extending, and you know, that's a good uh, metaphor for human doings, mm. you know, that are do, 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 what do I do next, all those questions about the future, when one moment of surrender, of just letting go of all thoughts of the future, takes you immediately into the field, with no clue of the future, no, no clue whatsoever.